Hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a oops, altered puzzle pieces. Um, oh, I thought I glued that down. I guess I didn't. I better fix it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you how to make an altered puzzle piece. This is one I did last night. Um, and I just, my friend Kelly had sent me some things in the mail, and some of the things she sent me were large puzzle pieces. And so I made this out of them. And I'll show you how to do the same. To begin, you need to choose what kind of paper you want to go over them. I have chosen also something that Kelly sent me. This, um, um, this copied letter of Abraham Lincoln, but this writing is really cool. It's on this parchment paper. So I've gone ahead and on the opposite side of where you want to um, uh, of where you want to cut um, on the opposite side of the part paper you want to show. You're going to copy or you're going to trace the puzzle piece. So um, as you, I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see through there what is going to show up on your puzzle piece. So here I'm just going to show you how I trace it. You just have to hold the puzzle piece really still. And I try and trace it very close to the edge because I want, I don't want to have to cut too much off. I want this as true and exact to the piece as it can be. So, there's two. And then um, I'll show you how I glue them on. Next, I just use Mod Podge, and that works really well. All right, I have two of these puzzle pieces done. And I decided to um, just sew these because when I put the paper down the first time you could see the co color through it. So there's gesso on there obviously. It's still a little bit wet. I just wanted to show you how I need my glasses for this, how I cut this out. Um, Go, try to go inside the lines to cut and I cut fairly slowly so that I can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. This is a traced part of the puzzle piece. This is one of the puzzle pieces traced. So I'm just cutting along the insides of the lines um, so that I can mod podge it down. I need to be doing this so I can see it. I feel like I'm doing it backwards because I can't see it. You need to cut it so that you can see the line, um, so you can see what you're doing, and the scissors don't block your view. So it sort of feels like I'm cutting backwards, but really I need to so that I can see the line and get it correctly on there. This is how I do it. I'm sure there's other videos out there, tutorials out there on um, how to do it differently, but I just taught myself how to do it. 
yesterday and this is how I'm doing it right now. Okay, so now I'm just going to Mod Podge this on. It's been gessoed. I put my Mod Podge in a little bottle so that um, I found it in the baker's aisle. Probably put chocolate or whatever in there, um, but I found it in the baker's aisle and I really, really like to use it like that. You know, tacky glue comes like that. Um, glossy accents comes like that. So why not put your Mod Podge in there as well? So you've got glue in a bottle. It's easier. Well, in my opinion, it's easier. Just so it doesn't really like that Mod Podge very much. Okay, so then this kind of paper really crinkles up, which I like, you know. Um, if you don't like it, I suppose you can just use um, a rayer or some straight edge and get those out. Um, I'm going to try to get some of these edges under that are a little bit too cut too big. Or Okay, so the parts I've got a little bit of overage I'm just going to fold down. Maybe when it dries I'll cut it because it doesn't want to seem to fold down very well. And if you don't make sure that they're nice and even here along the edges on the um, curves, it's not going to go together very easily. So you really need to make sure that this is the right size of the original piece because it won't fit together very well if you don't. All right, so there's that. So now I'm down to um, these three pieces and uh, I wanted them to look a little bit older, more distressed. So I used uh, Tim Holtz Distressed Ink Tea Dye um, on the outsides. And then I'm using this, uh, I got it at Michael's on their um, sale recently, this Colorbox Mixed Media Ink Leather. Um, and I've been going around the edges on this, on these, and I'm going, um, like on the outside corners it's fairly easy to get to, so on the inside corners, on these I just kind of tried to push it around, but on this one I thought I would um, use a makeup sponge and just apply it that way. Yep, that works nicely. Looks pretty good. So, I might go back and work on this a little bit. On the insides here. So it looks a little distressed. And then I might go take some of that off there. And then just go over the top lightly, kind of give it a little antique look so that my um, little fold and edges here look distressed and antiqued. Just go over it lightly. Makes them stand out a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see. There. Makes them look a little bit more distressed. Alright, so that's that, and now I am going to, um, oh I've forgotten how they go together now, huh, I wanted them to go together, 
Let's see. Let's see. How did I do that? These two are going to make go together. And I'll be back after I figure that out. So I'm almost done and I've got this little flower in here that I made. My sister showed me this video that Saw Crafters made about these little flowers and you just cut tissue paper up and make those little flowers like that. So I made one here and I tied it with some orange um, embossing thread. And then I put a key on it and a little button. And then I put some lace down here. And I'm going to put the word strong on. And I've got a clock and some wooden um, butterflies that I just threw some uh, alcohol inks on. <laughs> I used the citrus and the sunset orange and stream alcohol inks on these these and then I used the uh, film strip ribbon from Tim Holtz underneath these words strong and then I used a little clock and some a little bit of lace um, now I'm just distressing some stamps some recollection stamps um, I got in this little recollections thing all these little stamps here so now I'm distressing those and I'm going to glue those on in a second. I just kind of placed everything first and now I'm going to put everything on. And I'm just using some of the leftover ink that's on this little makeup sponge that I used on the sides and on the top of it. So Pretty sure that's how I had it. I like that anyway. And then I'll just use some tacky glue to put that down. Those are glued down. I was going to use this, but I'm not sure where to use it, so I don't think I'm going to. Oh, let me use that to push those down, though. My hands are pretty dirty, so I don't really want to touch a whole lot. I'll use some tacky glue to put these butterflies down. Turned out to be a nice day today. It started out um, cold and almost sleeting snowing earlier and then sunny and I don't know, maybe 60 outside. Gorgeous day. So I got down here kind of late because it was so nice out. Anyway, let's see. I love this measuring tape, but I don't know where to put that. I think it's too big. I need, think I need something here, but I'm not sure what. Let's get these down. I can use a little bit of hot glue for that. For
first one. So it stays. I like hot glue, but I don't like the strings it leaves. too much. Oh, how am I going to get that to stay on? It's not going to stay. Just a little bit of hot glue in the front and a little bit of hot glue. Oh gosh, don't want to get my fingers on the back. Right. That's going to be the back. It's going to go on there. That's not staying. I guess we're going to have to use tacky glue. Stay there. I'm going to use tacky glue to make this stay down. I hope it works. It's not going to look very nice for a minute. You'll see the big white blop. I need something here. I just don't know what yet. And I need some bling on my. Oh, I still have to glue down my strong. I like that, but I don't know. Maybe I should put some more stamps down there. What do we think? Let's see. Stamps I haven't used. Maybe a couple stamps. Two stamps. All right. Repetition is usually pretty good. Use up the ink on this, make it look a little bit older and distressed. Oh, this is going to take forever to upload. Oh well, it's a long video. Okay, so let's throw those down. Some tacky, whoop, take the lid off, it might help. Butterflies need a little something. Okay. After I figure out what the butterflies need, we'll see. Well, I am done pretty much, I think, with my um, altered puzzle pieces. I decided that the butterflies needed, oh, there's that, those little strings from the hot glue. I decided that my butterflies needed a little bit of clear stickles, so that's what I did on those. Give them a little bit of shine. I, I used glossy accents to put down the film strip and the um, word strong. Um, so there's my finished piece. Have a good day.